But before we dive into today's video, comment down below, let me know what you guys are working on. You're working on cylinder heads, painting a car, doing some interior. What do you have going on in your garage right now? I'm curious. All right, so cylinder heads. Now we've got a set of cast iron Pontiac cylinder heads here that came to me pretty torched. Those things are disgusting. Um, absolutely covered in rust, full of parts, uh, just need to be generally gone through. So the first thing we're gonna do is go ahead and strip these heads. Using a valve compressor tool, we're gonna go ahead and compress those valves, get those things out, get those springs out, and get this head bare. With this bare head, we can go ahead and soak this thing in some degreaser for about 24 hours. Now, like the later steps, if you have a degreaser vat that is something like a 100 degrees, it will make this process significantly faster, easier, and more efficient. So, get that thing degreased, let it sit, and pull it out. Now, with it pulled out, you have a couple of options here. If you have a power washer, great, use a power washer. If you don't, you're kind of left to your devices of figuring something out to spray this thing off, or um, doing it by hand with a wire brush. Now, whatever way you go is fine. It, it all accomplishes the same job, but obviously efficiency is better. So try it for the power washer if you can. Take it down to the local car wash and do it down there if you need to. All right, so this thing is degreased, it's stripped. It is ready for paint prep, we'll say. Um, so what we wanna do to prep this thing is to throw this thing in some evapo rust for about 24 hours again. So with this thing sitting in evapo rust, what it's gonna do it's gonna get that evapo rust inside of all of the channels, the water channels, the water jackets, um, the the intake ports, the uh, exhaust ports, everything's gonna be soaked with this evapo rust. What that's gonna do is remove all the rust from those pieces to make sure that you don't have an issue later. Now this does leave bare metal, so we'll address that here in a second. So we have this thing completely stripped of rust, completely stripped of paint, and we're ready to paint it now. With Pontiac heads, you want to make sure you're using some VHT header manifold paint. Now, this is because the exhaust ports on the Pontiacs are part of the head. They're kind of raised. Um, so you want to go ahead and make sure you have good high temp paint on those to make sure you're not going to run into issues later with paint burning off like I see a lot of guys doing. So with that completed and primed, we can go ahead and throw our paint on there. Now, typically it's going to be 67 Pontiac, you know, metallic blue gorgeous color that we're all so used to. Now, if you get this thing painted, it's right, and you're still worried about rust, well, there's something else you gotta do too. You have that entire like valley where the rockers go and the valves go, uh, that is gonna re-rust if you let that stay open. So what you wanna do is soak that thing in some oil or some ATF. Now, if you do that, it's best practice to hit it with a heat gun, throw it in an oven, bake that in basically seasonal like you would cast iron pan uh, that is going to give you by far the best ability to reduce rust down the road now with that done do some extra things i mean if you want to you know before you reassemble this go ahead and throw together the flashing to fish the flashing in the the oil galleys if you want to port the head do that and then put everything back together and you should be ready to rock and roll if you want to see this process from start to finish Hit like, hit subscribe, because we're going to do it live on YouTube. Hope to see you guys there. Have a good one, and I will see you around.